I'm Eugene, Eugene Solis and we're making a shark today out of clay using Crayola Model Magic. It's a pretty easy project. You're going to be getting a packet of this and a, you need a pencil and a pair of scissors. For the pair of scissors, just go ahead and cut the pack open. And this is a good project to start with because later on we'll probably do more clay projects. This is just get your hands familiar with form, um, using clay to make an object. And you can always throw, throw this away to, and when you're done with your project. So to start off with, you have this clay. You just roll it to a ball using your hands. It doesn't be a perfect ball, just, you know, where it's round enough like this. I want you to stick your thumb in the middle of it, like this. And don't push it all the way through because you don't want your clay to get too thin. And what we're doing in clay, in ceramics, people call it like a pinch pot and some of you have done it, but it pretty much is like you're pinching the clay outward a little bit to make it a little bit bigger. So we have our little pinch pot right here. And we're going to make our shark. And so what I'm going to do is pinch it outward and think where the tail's going to be and the head. So the heads should be larger and the tail part should be smaller. So I'm going to make this my head and this my tail. So I'm just pulling with my fingers the clay. That's all I'm doing. And again, if you mess up, you can just mash it together and make that ball again. It's not a big deal. It's, and then once I have my little sections for my head and my tail, my head right will be here, my tail right here. My tail, I want the two bottom fins, so I'm just pinching the clay with my fingers outward. So it should be one solid piece of clay. Try not to break it off and attach it. Okay, this clay is not really, it doesn't work, it works better if you keep it a one solid piece than breaking it up and then reattaching it. And then the second part, we'll make the other fins on the side, so I'm just pinching the clay outward with my fingers, pretty much my thumb and my metal and index finger. I'm just pulling the clay outward. So now I have all my fins. And the reason for the pencil, oh I forgot one more. The one on top of course I forgot that one. And I'm just pinching upward. If you want to don't make a shark, you can make it to a dolphin or a whale. It's any kind of creature you want to make it, you know, try to make it a fish creature where you can see, where you can try to make the tail, the fins, the face. And now I have the main body in my little shark or dolphin, what do you want it to be? Use your pencil and the pencil pretty much not to draw on it, but to kind of carve and make indentions to make your detail. For example, for my eyes, I'm just going to use the bottom part of my pencil and just slightly just push it in. So you can see it has eyes. And then next I'm going to use the pointed part to make the gills. And I'm going to do just slightly just push it in, make an indention. So this side has the gills and I'm going to go ahead and make gills on the other side. So now it has gills on both sides. And if you want to do little teeth, you could do little teeth, it's up to you. I just make a, it looks like one of those like funny looking sharks. So I have my little teeth right here. It doesn't have a bottom draw, which is okay, it's just practice. And so we have our shark. And again, you can make it a dolphin or a whale. And it's good practice, because later on we'll be using other clay to make more art projects. This clay, it's more just to practice. So once you're done with it, you can roll it into a ball and make more different kind of sea life or maybe if you don't want to make something after you did maybe one or two creatures underwater creatures you can make whatever you like with this clay and keep it and maybe in a bag so it won't dry up and you, and you can keep on making um, more objects with it